So first we go to this website stanleyssh.com Go to this website to create an SSH account. So when you, when you go inside the website, it appears like that. So scroll down and then click on create SSH over here. And now if you choose the SSH server category, scroll down and choose any server you want. For example, Europe. And then scroll down and choose any country. After choosing country, now enter your username. And enter a password. Then prove that you are not a robot. And click create. And wait for the server to be created. And finally, this is our server details. Uh, the username and the password expired on 26 November 2021. SSH socket payload. So all the information you need is here. Now go back to home and open this up. Think and net. And go to network, go to network info. And wait for the DNS IP. If you find the DNS, scroll down until you find it. So, here it is. This is the end. Copy, keyboard, and, and make sure before doing that that you have the mobile data turned on. Now go to this app, SSH Injector. Here, select slow DNS and then click save. Now here, paste the DNS which you have copied and click start. Now you should configure the server. So the public key. This is the public key of our server. Copy it to the default and paste it here click ok request domain go back and copy copy this half and paste it here click ok the login details, username this is the username password okay now go back and click again on start and make sure you have the data mobile turned on excuse me guys I didn't need to 
uh, here in the in the request domain you shouldn't copy this house you should first copy all the account details here click copy and go to your gmail for example and click paste here and scroll down and go here to dns hub copy this hub dns hub copy and go to the app and paste it here okay only this now go back and click on start wait a few moments and it will be connected so press the connection now try something for example you see on Facebook So as you can see it works correctly. It's not fast but it's good for surfing the web. So we'll try Facebook for example. But it's slow because you are using slow DNS, not the SSH. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next video, and goodbye.